Hi, in this video we will look at how to add sophisticated and realistic particle effects such as rain, fire, fireworks and confetti to iOS and macOS projects without using third-party libraries or without using any dependency. We will use the app Fireworks. You can find this app from the Mac App Store. This app generates the code for both macOS and iOS. So let's begin. So it is difficult to create a sophisticated animation like this, but using this app, you get the animation for the particle you want to use for your iOS or macOS project. Let's look at what it did over here. So it uses the core animation emitter layer to create this animation. The core animation emitter layer has two main components, the particle emission, which is this one, and the emitter cell. So the particle emission is the special effect you can add to layers to animate them or to multiply the layer. The emitter cell is an image layer which is supplied to the particle emitter to multiply it or to animate it. In this animation, when we go to the properties inspector, you can see we have five emitter cells. This is the first one, the second one, the third, fourth, and fifth. Each one has different object. You can see here the first one is square and the second one is circle and the third one is spiral. To use the same emitter cell or the content of the emitter in the iOS project, we can double click this link and that gives this dialog to save the image to a location on the computer. I have already saved all the five emitter cells to my computer so we are going to use them in the iOS project. So let's begin by creating a new project in Xcode. The platform will be iOS and then under application we choose app and next. Let's call this confetti and leave the interface as storyboard and the language as Swift. I will make another video for Swift UI but for now we are going to use UIKit. So let's click next and save it to a location. To add the particle animation to the Xcode project, we are going to use the file view controller. After the app runs, we can add additional content here. We want to display in the function view did load. So let's go back to the code again. By going to the toolbar, we have this icon. It doesn't look like a copy icon, but we can click it to copy the code to the clipboard. Let's go back to Xcode again. So below the comment, do any additional setup after loading the view, we will paste the code. I will make another video that explains how all these parameters work. But for now, let's add the emitter content or the emitter cells. Let's go to the assets folder. I have all the five images here. So I will select the five images and drag them into the project. So we can now go ahead and run the code in the iPhone 14 Pro Max simulator. And that displays the beautiful confetti animation in the simulator. So this is how you can bring sophisticated and realistic particle animations such as rain, fire, fireworks and confetti to any iOS or macOS project without using a third party dependency or library. Thanks for watching this video.